If you want to make real money in 2025 selling AI, I want you to please do yourself a favor to stay away from single use case AI workflows, AI automation, or AI agents. And instead, you want to sell an entire AI infrastructure because based on the data that we have from launching AI offers every single month, that's where the real money is. And let me explain why. When you're trying to take a business from 100 grand a year to a million dollars a year, from a million dollars a year to $10 million, problem number one, you cannot just rely on one AI agent or AI automation that helps you automate the content creation part of a business or that helps you do cold outreach and emails and personalize your emails. That's not going to be enough. Instead, what we're doing or what we're seeing the market wanting is a set of AI mechanisms put together that make it unreasonable for the business not to eradicate and avoid every single obstacle, keeping them from going through the transformation that they want. Do they want to make another million? Do they want to make an extra eight figures a year? You need to put together a set of AI enabled mechanisms that bridges the entire gap. Okay. That's problem number one. Problem number two is when you're selling one AI use case, let's say you're helping people automate copywriting, well, you're gonna be a commodity because there's gonna be so many people because of how low the barrier is to install that solution, everyone is gonna be doing the same thing as you. The other problem is when you're selling one AI workflow or one AI automation, you're perceived as a commodity. I'll give you guys an example. We onboarded a client early 2024 who was implementing AI dollar into companies. He was charging 500 bucks, a thousand bucks for each implementation. But when he started working with us, we were like, hey, no more selling this one AI dialer, we want to instead solve a lot more obstacles. And what we did is we helped him build an entire AI growth infrastructure. And the next sales call that he jumped on lasted 22 minutes. And the real estate investor that he spoke with and showed the entire infrastructure paid him $12,000 upfront. Imagine going from trading your time for money, $500, $1,000 at a time, which by the way is good money, but it's not $12,000 kind of good money. Okay. And that was the impact of selling an infrastructure instead of selling one unique AI, you know, single use case. And that's the thing. In this video, I want to provide you with a clear breakdown of why building and releasing entire AI infrastructures, preferably AI growth infrastructures is the better opportunity in 2025. But if you want a more in-depth walkthrough on March 13th, I'm actually going to be doing a live masterclass going over how we're building these AI offers and going to market with them. Click the link below and secure your seat before we are sold out. To help you understand this opportunity, I need to explain three things. One is the risks behind selling AI. The second thing I'm going to go over explaining the model. And the third thing is I'm going to go over how we actually go about acquiring clients. Now, what are the risks to selling AI? As much as AI is going to revolutionize the entire world, you have to understand the following. It has the lowest barrier of entry. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're currently selling a single use case AI workflow, AI tool. Let's say like AI dollars, you're only selling AI dollars, right? You see a lot of people on Instagram who are making short selling voice agents to real estate agents and it's going viral, but you have to understand that anyone who sees that reel can copy and go sell to real estate agents the same tool in less than two to three hours. So that's really bad. A business that has really low barrier of entry means competition goes through the roof like this. Okay, because there's not a big learning curve needed to actually be able to start selling these AI solutions, right? But the second problem when it comes to risk is a lot of people are going after broad functions, broad applications and use case like marketing, right? They're solving like copywriting, they're solving like sales, but you have to understand that these large language models are eventually going to start selling agents. I believe Microsoft has already released a few agents on their platforms, but do you know what these large language models are going to, which market and application or use case they're going to go after? They're going to go after marketing, sales, customer support, coding, because that's where the big opportunity for them is. So if you want to make money and avoid competition, not only do you need to be more sophisticated and put together a bunch of AI mechanisms together, a bunch of AI automations, AI agents together, but you also need to go niche on who you serve and what problem or gap that you bridge. As an example, OpenAI is not going to go after med spots. They're not going to go after real estate agents. They're not going to go after agencies. They don't care about that. It's too small of an opportunity for them when they're making hundreds of millions of dollars a year already. Okay. And guess what? When these large language models decide to release these agents into the market, they're going to charge $20, $200. They might even give it away for free, which makes your business irrelevant if you're only focusing on selling or solving these broad functions or these broad problems. OK, so you really want to be mindful of the risk of selling AI and only staying in one single solution.
Now, what is this build and release model about? So here's the thing. When we're selling AI, we don't actually niche down to an AI solution. Instead, we go to a market, we pick a niche. Then we try to understand what are the obstacles keeping them from scaling, okay? And then we niche down to that gap. We do not care about what AI solution we're gonna use to solve these problems. Instead, we only wanna focus on bridging the gap for these businesses using AI. An example of a client doing this is we have a client who's currently going after dental clinics. He just scaled to 40,000 thousand dollars a week from only spending around two thousand dollars on ads and you know i believe thirty thousand dollars in cash collected in less than let's say five days what he's doing is he's not going after dental clinics and saying, hey, I'm going to get you leads or I'm going to get you appointments. Instead, what he's doing is, hey, your main problem is lead generation. You're not getting enough traffic. The next thing is people are just spamming your leads and actually making them not want to buy. So we're not going to focus on that. He's also helping them solve their nurturing problem. He's also helping them book appointments. And lastly, he's helping make the close effortless and the businesses are loving it. If you've ever tried selling you know, growth to dentists, you know that they wouldn't even pay you $1,000 or $2,000 a month for something like lead generation. But for him, they're paying him 7.5K as if it was $500, right? And they're loving it. And the other reason why they're loving it is because he's positioning it as I'm gonna build it once and release it into your business so you can get value over time even when I'm not there anymore. So we're not going in as a traditional agency where we're trying to keep people on a retainer. Instead, we're building it once and releasing it into the business so they can experience a value over time, which makes them open to giving us a lot of money upfront. And by the way, some of the solutions that we're implementing into this business is only cost $49 a month, right? Now imagine how crazy it is to have the solution that we're actually implementing to these businesses only costing $49, $90 a month, but we're able to collect $7,000, $10,000, $15,000 to implement them into businesses. That is why building and releasing a set of AI mechanism allows you to charge premium prices because you're solving multiple problems at once and people love it. Now, how are we going about acquiring clients for these AI infrastructure that we're selling into businesses? The first step is you need to pick a niche. I recommend picking a niche that has a business that is already foundationally strong and that is sustainable, right? You don't wanna go and sell to people who are broke because they will not value your solution. They have way bigger problems that can't be solved with AI. You wanna find a business that has product market fit that people keep buying from over and over again, right? Because then they will have the capital to be able to pay you as much as you want. Step number two is you wanna figure out what the gap is. Not every business is dealing with the same problem. Some businesses may be dealing with appointments issue. Some people may be already have solved lead gen appointment setting, but they might be having an issue with nurturing people before they show up for sales calls, right? So maybe all the books calls that they're getting are with tire kickers, which is wasting all their marketing budget. So you want to understand the gap, okay? Step number three is once you know what the gap is, then I want you to set up a sales letter. At least that's what we're doing. We're setting up something we call a process selling VSL that shows them what the gap is in their businesses. Step four is you want to drive traffic to that VSL, that landing page. We prefer using meta ads because it's so cheap. I believe we have clients whose cost per lead went from $100 to $7 cost per lead. And maybe we're paying around $30, $40, $50 to actually get sales calls with these businesses. One of our clients who's going after construction businesses saw his cost per booked call go from $150 to $20 per sales call booked. And he just sold his infrastructure for $12,000. Imagine paying $20 for a sales call and getting that same person that you paid $20 to show up on a call paying you $12,000. That's pretty amazing, right? Once you have traffic, then step five is you want to make sure that every single lead that comes into your funnel is reached out to in less than five minutes. The speed to lead is crucial. Now, you know, AI is so in demand. We're seeing the highest self booking rate that we've ever seen on any offer that we've launched and scaled in, you know, history of running client acquisition that IO. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't necessarily have a setter or an AI setter that's actually reaching out to these leads in less than five minutes, because that will make your cost to generate the sales call be as low as possible. Step number six is when you do jump on a sales call, I want you to not necessarily sell these services as a monthly retainer because businesses, funny enough, they're more open to spend infinitely more money one time than they are paying month to month commitments. Nobody want to be committed to a monthly retainer. And the funny thing is a lot of people are like, oh, but I don't want to charge one off payments. Well, to be honest, if you're like most agencies or most growth consultants that charge monthly retainers, you guys know that the business ends up churning after two months or most of the time to churn after the first month. So the benefit of sell of collecting 7,000, $10,000, $15,000 on month one means that the LTV of the client is amazing. And here is the other benefit. When someone pays you 
10 grand, 15 grand, they're actually committed to making sure that you see success and that you help them see success. They're not just like someone who just paid you $2,000 and who's going to ignore you, not fill out the onboarding form, not show up for clarity sessions or for onboarding sessions. Like when someone pays you 10 grand, they actually care to make the project work which is another benefit other than the fact that you make a lot more money sooner. Someone who's paid you 10, 15 grand will be happy to start paying you a thousand bucks, 2000 bucks a month. Once you implement the first AI infrastructure, growth infrastructure, other problems will arise, other re reoccurring issues. And that's when you figure out your opportunity to be able to retain them. Now that you know the main three steps and the main issues, the risks, the, you know, the, how we're going about the build and release model, as well as how we're going about acquiring clients, when should you shift to building and releasing AI infrastructure into companies? The answer is now. After watching this video, please do yourself a favor, go do more homework, go make your process selling VSL, go run launch ads because the first movers end up earning over 90% of all the profits on any platform shift. So that means that if you're watching this video today and maybe it's in you know early 2025 and you go six months from now and you're watching this video like six months later, I promise you that when you enter this opportunity, you will make infinitely less money, even if nothing else changes, even if the AI solutions get better, you will make less money because there's just more supply than there is demand. If supply is greater than demand, most service providers remain broke. Think of the restaurant industry. It's so hard in the restaurant industry to make a lot of money because there are so many restaurants out there and you get commoditized like crazy. But if you're early, when demand is way higher than supply, then you will inevitably make a lot of money even if you are incompetent. And that is the opportunity. Now, I wanna remind you guys on March 13th, I'm gonna be doing a live masterclass. You can use the link below before the seats are sold out. And I'm gonna see you guys, it's gonna be a long one. I'm gonna be spending two, three hours doing an entire breakdown. Don't expect this to be like a short 20 minute masterclass, 30 minute. No, this is actually gonna be hours and hours of breakdown from the markets, offers, client acquisition funnels we're using, how we're building teams for these AI offers, as well as how we're going about fulfilling and the best applications that we're leveraging when it comes to picking the AI tools that we're selling into businesses, okay? See you guys on the next video. Love y'all.